everybody, this is Key with Messy Desk. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, so in our 150th video giveaway, Beck and I um, were showing these all totally alterable treasure boxes. <laughs> and so about half of you, the majority of you, wanted to see us alter this box. So that is what I am here to do today. So I have this box. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get busy altering it so you can see what, what uh, we can do with it.
Okay, I think we have a finished product here. Um, so I altered my treasure box, as you saw. And let me just walk you through what I did. The first thing I did was I painted it with acrylic paint. Um, I used, the first, the first coat was a metallic, let me see what this color is. It's metallic pure gold. And uh, I did the base coat in gold so that when I crackled it, some of the gold would show through. Um, the blue is a metallic blue sapphire. And then I finished up with metallic sequin black. Um, on the inside, actually, the very first thing I did was I, uh, I used Mod Podge and I used um, sewing patterns to, um, to alter the inside of the box. And it's crinkled in spots, which is exactly how I wanted it to be. I didn't want it neat and clean for this one. Um, I forgot to attach the chain here. I'll do that later. Um, anyway, I, I, I used the sewing pattern and I left it crinkled and a little bit messy, which is how I wanted it. Um, the next thing I did was I took ribbon and I used my hot glue gun to attach it to the edges of the inside of the box and that just gives it a prettier, more clean um, finishing touch there. And then I took a piece of lace and I used gold shimmer spritz on the whole thing. And then I used black smooch spray on the two edges. Um, and then, of course, I put the cameo there. That's all I'm going to do. I also used um, black soot distress ink around the edges of the pattern. So it kind of looks like it's older. Um, so that was the inside of the box. And then on the top, let's see. Let me show you the back here. I used a... Um, this is one of Tim Holtz ideology by, uh, hinge clips and I attached it to this flower which is from Ashland Fun with Flowers and then I put the ticket in it and I distressed the ticket. This is one of Tim Holtz ideology tickets um, and then I distressed the ticket with box set and I used my hot glue gun to fix those to the box. Um, then I used these two flowers which are from Recollections. And this one which is also from Recollections. And then this flower is from Spare Parts. This button is from the Tim Holtz uh, Kuderman's collection. And this is a cameo here and this is also a Tim Holtz accoutrement. And then on here, I used one of Tim Holtz's keys. Yeah, he calls them locket keys, and it says Journey. And then I took a Tim Holtz paper stack, and I don't remember the name of the paper stack offhand, but I put corners on all four corners of the box, and then I took this paper, and you can see I just cut strips, and then I rolled it, and I used Mod Podge to affix it to the box. And then the last thing I did was I attached this little hook to the lid. And that just gives me an easier way to open and close the box. And then I tied this pretty ribbon around it. So that is my altered treasure box that many of you wanted to see. I hope you like it. I kind of like how it turned out. Um, that's not really how I intended for it to turn out, but... I kind of changed my plans while I was working, so I like how it turned out. Um, let me think. I think that's everything. I showed you everything I did to it. So, there's your ideas for altering boxes. Um, and so now on to the next project that you guys wanted to see. Um, this is Key, and this is my messy desk.